Uh, hello there guys, um, welcome back. We're just gonna go here to the final part of this tutorial. Um, um, I did all the skin weights. Um, they still need more work, but I, I think the basic is here. Um, you got the hips here, it's all done. The arms, if I select one, two, and then bend it, then I go that. Obviously it needs more work here, but I just, just as a starting point. Obviously he's not gonna bend like that, but if you select this guy here, you can just go up and down. Uh, the jaw, still a bit more work, but um, Oops, sorry, gonna undo this, yeah. Select this guy here, and we open the jaw. The jaw got a little bit of work to do. I had the um, the eyes as well, got the eyes there. So I got, um, this one wasn't bound, because that's the one that we're gonna parent constrain the eyes to, or con parent the eyes, but we're gonna talk about that later in another class. Here I got the uh, little tuck, so when the eyes move around, they just uh, come around with this. Uh, I have the uh, I think it's, this is one of the top eyelid, so I painted that uh, so you can open and close the eyes. The same goes to the bottom one. You can open and close, and it's all being mirror the ears as well. You go is on rotation, so you got this as well there. You got all the fingers. Everything is done. Now, once you go to this point, okay, this is a good practice just to um, export your weight, just in case. So what you can do, for example, you by any chance you see delete history, you say you came back and say, oh my god, I lost everything, I got all my my skin weight, so how do I get that back? So just in case I get that uh, to that point that you lose uh, the connection and the input with the skin cluster, you could either obviously recreate everything from scratch, or you can just go and once you finish this stage, export your skin weights as maps and uh, bring it back on later on so you can keep working. Just in case you have to disconnect as well, another case would be to if you have to disconnect the um, the skin cluster because you have to do some repairs and then reconnect it again, then that would be another um, situation that this uh, would be quite good and practical. So the only, if you want to export your weights, the only uh, condition that you need to have is just you have to make sure that your character has uh, UVs. So we go here into Windows and we say UV Editor. You know that I got UVs in this character. Otherwise, if you don't have UVs, then you are done. You can't do anything with it. So, in order to export the weights, um, if you select this, um, just select the, the geometry. If you go into Skin and you say Export um, uh, Weight Maps, if you go into the Options, you say Luminance, and you put the uh, size of the of the file. Let's say you want to put um, let's say you want uh, 1024 by 1024 so you're gonna have export for each single one of these joints you're gonna export an image that is 1024 by 1024 1k in resolution where it says and it's gonna bake in the UVs where the um, where the influence of this is so 100% here and all the way to 100 then a little bit fading and that information is gonna be baked out in an image and then later on you can pull them out and then bring it into um, uh, the skin weights and then just just work from there. So if you keep want to keep working, so just you stay to an if image. That's fine. So I think we say export. And uh, then normally going to be saved and source images here. Source and you just call this um, skin weights, skin weights, and you say save. And it goes through and says you're going to say 72 skin map, which means that it's going to save an image her join so we say yes and it's gonna start working on it you're gonna see it here and then um, it's pretty fast I think generally it should take not long like a couple of minutes so now it's all done so if I'm going into where I have everything safe I think I got it here into backup and I got it in uh, visual documents, class data, character, everything with classes. I think I got it in week two, rigging, and it saves it right here. So it saved one file, which is a weight map, it's a proprietary file for Maya, it's called .weight map. And then you go as well, a folder called skin weights. So here you have every single one of the images you're going to be working on. You're going to need for um, exporting it into um, bringing back all the information. So if we see one of these one of these files, like say for example the head, if I right click at this and they say open with, 
I don't know why it takes uh, audition. It should be uh, let's open with uh, say Photoshop. It's okay. Now I open Photoshop, and now you see, you see this. This is your UVs, and it has baked out all the information from the um, from the skin map or the weight map back into an image. So later on, you can recover this. So you see that this is black because this influence is going to be taken by the ears. So the ear is going to take this, the eyelids is going to take this influence, the neck is going to take the rest. And obviously it means that as well uh, as a matter of testing as well, you can see that none of these uh, bits here are white. It means that the head hasn't painted any dodgy uh, skin uh, weight here on the rest of the of the geometry. So that's fine. So if you're going to, just to double check, we're going to go and open another one. Let's open, let's say the jaw. Can we find the jaw? Yeah, jaw pivot. And then we just open that. Now you can see that the jaw is got all this influence painted here and I think this is the mouth cage inside so the open mouth, the mouth open with the cage as well. So and that's it guys all you have to do is just export that and then once you have that and then by any chance if you go back into here then you say okay I I don't know I deleted the history or I just had to delete this because I had to fix something and then reconnect back you don't have to go and paint away. All you have to do is select this and then um, just remember what we did earlier about the uh, selection, you select the um, the quick select, you select the joints, and then you go and select the uh, shift select the skin, you go into skin, bind skin, go into the options, I think it should be the same options as before, they're all there, and bind skin. At the moment, obviously, we lost everything. This is brand new skin. See, the other stuff that we did probably might have the problem that we have earlier with the joint. You see, you remember that issue here with the leg? That's all there. So, uh, because it's being, this is like the default from, from uh, Maya. So in order to re-import that, all you have to do is select the geometry, go back into skin and then say import weight maps and then you look for the weight map file and you say open and you can see, you see how this stuff, it always uh, amazes me when I see this, it's really nice to see how everything is connected. So it goes one map one by one and you start reconnecting everything back and now you have everything the way it was, you see, everything works, we got the issue. We go uh, the issue solve. We go the jaw. It's all there. Obviously, if you export something from here, when you do the export way map, you export something that is I don't know 250c by 250c. Just bear in mind that the low resolution won't allow you to um, have enough information for you to give you like a smooth transition. So you start seeing artifacts or or some of the joints it didn't have because the information wasn't there. It wasn't. Uh, it didn't have a good resolution in order to. Um, to 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 make like the m smooth transition from 100% to not percent. So this is it for now, guys. Uh, thank you very much. I will um, I will um, uh, post this as well for you guys. And the next step we're gonna start working is on uh, constraining and start creating the control for the character, and then we're pretty much gonna start rigging. So thank you very much. I'll see you around. Bye bye.